welcome back. I'm going to do another Christmas ball. The one I just did a couple of days ago, it's still wet. This guy here. Um, a couple of things was not quite right. My new gold that I got uh, from Amazon, it's very thick and I mixed it one to one like the other paints and I got really tiny, tiny little gold cells, see them there? So that's telling me it's too thick. So I've made a new batch of gold and I've mixed it one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. So that's 90 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint, and then I added a splash of water as well. So it's a lot thinner. The other thing, see what's happening over here in the red. See how there's a big block of red there? Um, and not much coming up through it, same here. That's telling me that my red is too thick as well. So I've added a good splash of water to my two reds. It's, it's funny, you know, some kind, sometimes colours are thicker. This lime green was thinner. I had to add an extra blob of paint. So just try and get all the consistencies the same, okay? So we're going to go again with these colours. <clears throat> the burgundy... I just used my uh, crimson red with a tiny little bit of black on the end of the stick and I think that's turned into a really nice burgundy instead of using <clears throat> red and blue and green and brown and all these different colors trying to get burgundy so that worked for me <clears throat> pouring medium 60% glue this is Elmer's glue all but you can use school glue as long as it's a white craft glue you should be fine 40% water mix all that up and as I said, it's generally one-to-one -one pouring medium with the paint, <clears throat> but you may have to just change it up a little bit. You want a tiny mound. Now, this is the Montmartre paint that I get from Australia. It says school glue. Um, <clears throat> this is the one that I got from overseas. The school's been taken out. That's the gold. It's got the space for it. Um, I don't know, I'm assuming they're both the same and this one's just maybe marketed more to schools in Australia. But as far as I'm concerned, it's the same paint. Alrighty, now this time I'm going to do four flip cups instead of three. And just to see if we can get some more little stripies happening. I was debating whether to do three or four, but I've always done three, so let's change it up and do four, hey? I've got my silicone oil there, the spot on, getting covered in paint. Um, and I'm going to do four drops in each. One, two, three, four, because I've got 60 grams of paint, 60 grams of pouring medium. That's uh, two ounces of each, which is four ounces, which means you do four drops. One drop per ounce or one drop per 30 grams is what I like to do. And give it a really good stir. If you don't give it a really good stir, you're going to end up with big blobs of silicone in your paintings. And then when you stretch them, they look like big worms. So make sure you stir it in properly. The amount of times that you stir it has no bearing on the size of your cells. The size of your cells are due to the thickness of your paint and also how much you stretch them, not how much you stir. I guess if you don't stir at all, yes, you'll get big cells, but it'll just be big blobs of silicone oil. It won't actually be a cell. And then it'll sit on top and it'll look messy and you won't be able to get the oil off, so stir it in properly. And I think I'm going to layer them slightly differently just so that I don't have the red on the bottom <clears throat> like I did on the last one. So I'm going to put red there. I have to go with a little less paint actually because I've got four cups to cover. And these two can have the green. So I'm going to layer exactly the same but just starting there. So that one's already got the red obviously so now it can have some green and then the green the next one along is the white I'll try not to mess this up it's confusing when you're changing things up maybe I should do two cups at once 
Now I've got a little bit of extra gold this time because as I said, I, I've still got the same amount of paint, but I've got more pouring medium. So I have got more, is that right? No, see I've stuffed it up. I was supposed to go white, red, green, white. And I went red, green, gold. Oh dear. All right, I'm just gonna do one at a time because I obviously can't do two things at once. That's all right, I'll just change that. Now obviously I can't put the um, burgundy next to the white because I don't want pink. So let's do some green. I'll do these two first and then I'll do, actually I'll do one layer on these two cups, one layer on the other two cups and then I'll start again. Didn't take long to stuff it up, did it? <laughs> oh dear, you're a worry woman. It doesn't help that I'm talking, you know, I'm talking and um, trying to paint at the same time. <clears throat> now this should have been gold instead of white. I haven't got any red in there yet, so I'll put the gold on. And I can get away with a little bit more gold because, as I said, I've got a lot more gold in my cup. And then we'll go back to this red one because I missed this one. It was supposed to be in earlier. All right, so that's got the <clears throat> red, green, white, gold. And then I don't want to put the burgundy next to the other red because they're too similar. So we'll break them up a little bit with the green and then the burgundy. Okay, now we can start afresh, eh? Let's make sure I'm still taping. <clears throat> Although the red was supposed to go next. Um, I think I will put a little bit of red just on the burgundy because otherwise my order is going to be out of whack. So that's that one. And then it's the green again. This is the correct order now for these cups. And my mix looks nice and creamy, a little bit thinner than the pour from a couple of days ago. Hopefully I'll get better cells and hopefully I'll get more gold showing through this time. And I'm hoping I'm leaving enough paint for the other two cups. It's always a worry when you do not doing them all together. Just putting a little bit on. Okay. Now... I'm going to have to change this up a little bit because I don't want them the same. I don't want the red. I might put the gold here and then the red and change it up a little bit. There's really no rules. Well, actually, no, there are. There are rules with layering. You don't put, if you don't want pink, obviously don't put your red next to your white. And try and alternate your colours, dark, light, dark, light. You know, you really don't want to put these two next to each other if you can help it because they're very similar. Righto, now I can start with the red. And I just have to keep the white away from... that red. So it's taking a bit longer. It does actually take longer when you're doing cups separately instead of just going zoom, 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 zoom. You know, you've got to stop and think about it. But if you guys don't want to watch me layering paint, you've got the fast forward button. So feel free to use it. I don't mind, I'll never know. Actually, we'll put the dark green up against the lighter red. And save the light green for the dark red. Now, rather than putting light green on light red and dark green on dark red, 
just alternate it so that you've got your dark light, dark light. Last time when I did the Christmas ball, the one from a couple of days ago, I did the two reds next to each other and then I did the two greens next to each other. And today I'm doing it totally different. Oh, I was supposed to keep some of that green. Can you jump back in there, green, please? <laughs> oh dear. I'm going to have to make up a tiny little bit of green. Oh, mm, doesn't matter. See, because now I have to put the, um, oh, I'll just have to do this. Oh, so that's not working now either because now I'm going to have no green. I'm going to have to make up a tiny little bit of green and put on top of my red. Silly woman. So that's that one done. Whoops. I just need a little bit of green, dark green on that one. We've got way too much paint here now because um, well, I've got the extra gold. That one's empty. Go to my other one. I'm just going to do like 10 grams. Not very much. 10 grams of pouring medium. 10 grams of paint. And that will be plenty I might just put one tiny little drop of pour of um oil in there a tiny drop <laughs> half a drop I don't know what happened with this little cup. I think it's missed a couple of colours. Did it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. All right. Now I've got a little bit of white left as well. Let's just put that on here. the greens on top so I can put the white there without having to worry too much about it going pink. I think I was pretty lucky in the last one. I didn't really get any pink at all, did I? Touch wood. Okay, let's keep these in the order that I've got them. One, two, three, Four. So we've got red on the top, green, red, green. And the rest of them in the middle doesn't really matter. They're all a bit different. Just hoping that each cup would be a little bit different. I've sprayed them with oil already so you can see the paint's releasing really quickly. So I don't have to stand here and wait for all the paint to go down because the oil's um, in the inside of the cup. I just spray it on and then wipe it with a paper towel. And that releases pretty well. It just means that I'm not losing a lot of paint, like keeping a lot in the cup. Still will get some, you know, on the side of the cup, but not too much. Got my corner catcher ready. Got my little tool ready. Let's do this. Oh, look at the gold. It's looking more orange, isn't it? Whoops. More paint. It's flowing much easier this time. Oh, some white. That's pretty. So flowing much easier this time with me thinning it out just a tad. I won't keep any more of that. So there's a lot of paint here. 
as you can see. The extra that I made up for the green, the extra that I had for the gold, so I've got more paint than I would normally use, but maybe that's a good thing. And you can see the cells popping up already, so that's telling me that my mix is pretty good. Thinned out my red, thinned out my gold. Um, it all makes a difference, doesn't it? Hopefully the cells will be really pretty this time. I can't believe the gold and that burgundy is making that sort of orangish colour, hey? Well, red and yellow do make orange, so it's to be expected. But it's really pretty, the shade that it's got. Push the paint back before you take your corner catcher away, otherwise it'll all just fall over the corner and get wasted. the corner catcher again because the other side I just let flow over from the edge. I'll turn that and then give it a torch. Looks like we're getting nice big cells you guys. Uh, where's my torch? Over here. <clears throat> Butane torch. Nice and high. Don't get too close, as I always say, don't get too close, and then I get too close. Try not to. As soon as you see the little specks happening on the surface, like little bubbles popping, you know you're close enough. Don't get any closer and don't keep going in the same spot. As soon as you see those little spots happening, move on. Because the cells will come through. They just take a few seconds. And if you keep torching, you're going to over torch. Oh, look at that. I got too close. Oh. Tricky in the corners. <laughs> That's alright, I'm gonna I'll have to tilt that corner off. A little colony happening there with caterpillars. See the caterpillars? That's what happens when you get too close. I don't know why, like I don't know why that happens. It, it just does. Um, a little bit more just there, that's it. See how they come up like a few seconds later? And if you don't realise, then it's too late. Now, because the weight of the paint's still here, I'm going to get that corner off before I go for the other side. Because the weight of the paint's already down there. It'll just make it easier for me to get that corner off. There we go. Dunskies. Nice big cells, you guys. Look at that. All right, now we're going to take the weight of the paint all the way down. We don't want to go straight down because we want our cells to be round, not long. So walk it up and down, up and down. Wow, look at those cells, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. Trying to straighten up my lines a little bit. I made a mess on my pedal pad, haven't I? Wow, look at those cells, they're big cells. I like big cells and I cannot lie. Right, well, the colours aren't as bright as the previous one. Um, I guess they blend a little bit more because my paints are a little bit thinner this time round. But it's a trade-off for gorgeous cells. Don't you agree? I'll show the other one in a minute as soon as I finish this. Just 
try and match my colours as best as I can to the corners. You'd think with all the paint I'm splashing around, I'd actually go over the corners totally, hey, but not so much. Okay, that's done. Look at those red ones with the green lines. I've got a lot of white again. Um, now, oh, actually, I can just see on this one that I did the other day, I'm actually missing a spot. So I'm just going to pinch some of this paint. And do that. Um, obviously, it wasn't concentrating very well when I did that one. Or maybe I stuck my fingers in it. Okay, so here we go. Um, move that out of the way so that you can see. So today's biggest cells, which are delightful, um, but the colours aren't quite as bright. So there's the previous one. You can see how the cells are smaller because my gold and my red was too thick. Some cells are really pretty, but some of them are too small. There you go. It's lighter. I guess my white has blended more, hasn't it? Got that white stripe through the middle. Look at that. Didn't notice that till then. So that's pretty. So this, you know, we've got a lot of red at the top, a lot of green at the bottom. Because I layered my cups the same way. So this one's, I mean, this one has got more red there, more green, more red, more green. And that's because I had the red on the bottom, the green on the bottom, the red on the bottom, the green on the bottom. So it makes a difference because that's the colour that ends up on top. Does that make sense to you guys? Righto, I'm going to take you down for a close-up. But uh, yeah, let me know which one you think you prefer, today's one or the other day's one. Like, I prefer the other days because it's so much brighter, but I love these cells. They are just gorgeous, gorgeous cells, aren't they? So that's the difference that consistency plays when you're mixing up your paints. So if you want bigger cells, go with slightly thinner mix. They're still really pretty cells, don't get me wrong. They're just bigger. Look at these up here. The red cells with the green around them. That's because I put the red next to the green. And the burgundy's turned out pretty nice, hasn't it? Hasn't got that purple hue like the previous painting had. It looks so much lighter through my screen though. In reality, it is darker. When I take the photo, I'll show you the correct colors. It just looks a little bit washed out through my screen. Maybe if I get further away. <clears throat> yeah, see it looks darker there. When you get closer, it, everything looks lighter, but it's not. It's, it is quite dark. So what do you think? Do you like it? And I had plenty, plenty of paint, didn't I? So I could easily tip off the sides that I didn't like. Had that big corner that was... Um, had the big cluster and the caterpillars that I could easily, easily tilt off because I had more paint and it was a nice thin consistency. Not too thin. You make it any thinner than this and the colours will just blend. Mm, I guess the other reason that it's blended a little bit more, and sorry if I'm going on, but I'm trying to get you guys to understand. I had four cups this time. So each layer was a little bit thinner um, didn't have as much paint in each layer, which meant it did blend a little bit more with the colour above it. When I do three cups, my layers are thicker and I get a good covering. Um, so each colour kind of stays more separate. So 
going by that, three cups is better with a thicker layer of each. So there you go. Hope you've learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe and share and all that kind of stuff. And thank you guys so much for all your support. My lovely sponsors. I keep forgetting to type up my list of names. I'll try and remember to do it and I can show it soon. All right. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. Bye for now.